Wouldn't it be crazy if I wouldn't have to make a video like this? Wouldn't it be beautiful if I could just sit back and let you do your thing, but that's not possible. A lot of men are lost and it's not because they haven't implemented the seven strategies to building a wealthy business in 2024. It's not for any reason but for purpose. You aren't unhappy because you don't get girls. You are unhappy because you have no purpose. Getting no girls isn't a problem if you have a purpose. In fact, you don't even want to get girls because you want to spend as much time as possible on your purpose because it's fun for you. It doesn't even feel like work. You can work 10, 15 hours a day and you won't even feel it if it's your true purpose. If you love it, then it is your purpose. And so many men forget this in their chase for comfort. And this is how society took away purpose and replaced it with lust and undisciplinedness. Look at all the girls on social media. Are they the victims or are they, are they the bad people in this story? They're both. Of course, they're bad for shaking their asses and they're bad for robbing you of your testosterone because you jerk off to them, right? But they aren't the bad people. They don't have a purpose either. And there is no advice that I would give to everyone, but find your purpose. Meditation works, works not the same for everybody. You have to analyze what worked in the past and blah, 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 blah. In general, you can say, do meditation, do journaling, do these basic self-improvement habits, and then build your own self-improvement on top of that. But the one strategy that will work for everyone to discover his purpose is gonna be revealed to you in this video. First of all, I'm the Caveman Experience. I specialize in male mental health and biohacking, and today I'm gonna to teach you exactly, step-by-step, step, how to find your purpose and how to save a life doing so. Because think about working in a trash job. Most people don't get out of their job. Who gets out of, out of his job? Is it Steve? who doesn't know what to do with his life? Or is it the entrepreneur who knows exactly what he has to do, who has his own business, who wants to go full time and all in on entrepreneurship, who wants to do this big ball move of simply pushing it into business? Who do you think will leave his job and lead a healthy and happy life? Steve or the entrepreneur? I think the answer is obvious. Steve will probably kill himself because he works in that shitty job. Suicide rates for men are higher because men need a purpose. Of course, women also need a purpose, but if they have a man who has a purpose, most likely that is gonna become their purpose. And like it's gonna become their purpose serving that man. And a lot of people like to deny this and they like to say, yeah, you go girl, every, every person needs their own purpose, even if she's a woman. And emotionally and physically, women are not the same as men. A lot of things are very, very different in women, even in the way they digest things, it's different. So why shouldn't it be different in terms of do you need a purpose or not? And I think that feminine people look for the most masculine leader who is in their reach. And I don't even talk about girls, I'm talking about everyone who's feminine. People who are running after a group are feminine. Have you ever seen the strong masculine guy simply adapting everything around him? Simply saying, oh, you wanna become a policeman? Oh yeah, I want to become a policeman too now. No, I've seen this happen to many of my friends and it goes exactly like this and it amazes me. They say, oh, I'm going to go vegan now. And I say, why? They say, oh, because it's healthy. And I, and I laugh, okay? I, I don't laugh. I hold myself back. I'm behaving myself. And they say, yeah, I'm vegan now. And as you know, vegan stuff is all estrogenics. It's always soy or flaxseed or something else, some fucking chemicals. It is not healthy. It is bioengineered food. It's literally from a from chemistry lab. And 
it is estrogenic, so it decreases your testosterone, so it makes you more feminine, act more feminine. And then I wanted, I wanted to try something, right? I wanted to try, okay, do feminine people simply adapt the stuff that is around them? And I'm more of the masculine type, right? And this guy has now been eating vegan since like one year. And two months into his vegan journey, he tells me I want to pick up, I want to become a policeman now. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why do you want to become a policeman? He's like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's cool, you know? <laughs> And I know for a fact that some of his friends also wanted to become policemen or something else, right? Because another friend of mine told me exactly this story. Yeah, he does everything that the people around him do. This is why men feel lost. Because their estrogenic stuff makes them be feminine. And then they look for the most masculine people around them. And then they simply do what they think is good. But what do those people think? They also think that because they're also feminine. And the only way to get out of this, the only way to find your true purpose isn't to sit in a cold, quiet room for four hours. It's to be masculine. Because if you're masculine, things like what are people going to think aren't really a thing for you. What are the people going to think if you, if you trade in flip-flops? I don't care. I don't care. How can you care? How can you care about that shit? How can you live without a purpose? It's like playing a video game and not having any missions in there. Like playing a sandbox game and you wouldn't want to play. But you have to. In life, you have to play. And if you don't have a purpose, life is like a sandbox game without any mission. If you have a purpose, your life becomes a game. Your life can be any game. It can be a good game, a bad game, or whatever, but at least now you have a mission. There are harder missions than others. There are missions that are pointless to some people. For example, people who have the purpose of spreading vegan food seems pointless to me. You're literally poisoning people. But to them, making people more masculine in the way that I do it might seem pointless. And this is how everyone has their own purpose. Everyone has their own mission. And I highly encourage you to find your mission by being masculine because only like that you're not going to listen to everybody because I just told you the exact trajectory of someone who is feminine. They get raised in a feminine way. They get put into an estrogenic environment and as soon as they're feminine enough, everyone now is more masculine than them out of genetics or whatever. And now... They simply adapt the opinions of those who are masculine because this is how it's always been. Imagine a man in like the time of Christ, 2000 years ago. The man had his farm and that was his purpose. Boom, done. And the woman, what, what was the woman's purpose in that case? Was she going to go into business meetings or have her own farm or something stupid like that? No, she had the purpose of caring for her husband and aspiring for the same as he wanted. He wanted to make money with his farm. He wanted to support his family and she had the same purpose. So when you have feminine energy inside you, too much feminine energy inside you, a little bit is always good. If you have too much feminine energy inside you, you're going to simply adapt what other people do around you who you think are more masculine because then you are in the same dynamic as women and husband are energy wise. The best way to become more masculine is to do hard things. There is no way around that. No fucking way. I recommend mentally hard things and physically hard things. So meditation, I would choose to strengthen your mind. 
and journaling also. And fitness, I would take to strengthen your body and your mind. I've put a training program you can follow into the description of this video. It's a very hard training program, but if you need desperate change, fast change, quick change right now, then go follow that. I think it's the best training program that has helped me acquire a lot of mass. Only do it when you're bulking, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it as a beginner. Don't do it when you're injured, blah, 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 blah. All this stupid shit. Don't be stupid. Follow the training routine. As I described you, don't fucking kill yourself in the gym, please. And if you do, please don't tell me that the, please don't tell the people that the training routine was from me. <laughs> I gotta start coaching, man. <laughs> But seriously, man, I think that everyone should strive to find their purpose and then to achieve their purpose. Because let me tell you one thing, the most satisfying thing you can have is making progress on your journey, on your purpose. When I look into a crowd of people, I think it's pointless. Why are you here? Why are you here? Seriously, what the fuck are you doing here? And I know exactly what I'm doing. I've read the book Meditations by Marcus Aurelius and therefore know that action must be chosen and not be a random occasion. And this is how you do that for real. This is the implementation of that law in that book. Do something hard. That's the implementary part and the actionable step in this video. If you want a phrase to support you, so imagine you're you're squatting right and you can't anymore and you and you want to push but you feel like you can't, simply say the word masculinity grows through discomfort. I know it's an old phrase by another YouTuber named Hamza, but it's so true. It is still so true that masculinity grows through discomfort. So every time you want to give up, every time you fail, every time you feel like giving up, every time you feel like letting the weight down or stopping to meditate, just tell yourself masculinity is growing right now. This is growth. Masculinity grows through discomfort. This right now, right here in this moment is growth for you. It was probably pretty discomfortable to watch this video. It's not edited heavily like all the other YouTube videos out there. So props for you for sitting through. Because I can tell that if you are willing to go through this, you really struggle with purposelessness and you're not like an occasional um, opportunistic type of guy who just wants some dopamine. I wish you the very best luck on your journey. And master your mind.